Listening and Speaking Practice Hello everyone, today we are going to practice our listening and speaking skills to improve our pronunciation. Once upon a time, in the bustling city of New York, there lived a young woman named Arya. Arya was a talented musician who had moved to the Big Apple with her dreams of making it big in the music industry. Life in New York was a whirlwind of excitement for Arya. The city never slept, and neither did she. She spent her days working as a waitress in a trendy coffee shop in Soho, and her nights performing at open mic nights in Greenwich Village. Arya was constantly surrounded by the hustle and bustle of the city, with the honking of taxi horns, the aroma of hot dogs from street vendors, and the sound of street performers filling the air. Despite the fast-paced lifestyle, Arya loved living in New York. She was inspired by the diversity and energy of the city. She would often spend her weekends exploring Central Park, where she would sit by the lake and strum her guitar, finding inspiration for her next song. She also loved wandering through the vibrant streets of Chinatown, Little Italy, and Harlem, immersing herself in the different cultures and cuisines. However, life in New York wasn't always easy for Aria. The cost of living was high, and she struggled to make ends meet with her part-time job and gig earnings. She lived in a tiny apartment in Brooklyn, sharing it with three other aspiring artists. She often had to navigate the crowded subways and endure the long commutes to get to her various gigs and work shifts. But Aria was determined and resilient. She poured her heart and soul into her music, performing at local venues and networking with fellow musicians. She made friends with other artists who shared her passion, and they formed a tight-knit community that supported each other's dreams. One day, Aria's talent was finally recognized by a music producer who spotted her at an open mic night. He offered her a recording contract, and her career took off. Aria's music started getting airplay on local radio stations, and she began performing at larger venues and festivals all over the city. As her music gained popularity, Aria's life changed. She moved into a cozy apartment in Manhattan, and her days were filled with recording sessions, interviews, and performances. She even got to collaborate with some of the biggest names in the music industry. Despite her success, Aria remained grounded and grateful for her New York City roots. She continued to draw inspiration from the city's vibrant culture, and her music reflected the unique energy and diversity of New York. She used her platform to advocate for social causes she cared about, and she was often seen performing at charity events to give back to the community that had supported her. In time, Aria's music transcended the boundaries of New York City, and she became a global sensation. But no matter how far her fame took her, she always cherished the memories of her early days in New York, where her dreams had taken flight. Aria's story became a symbol of resilience and determination, and she remained a beloved icon of New York City, a place that had shaped her into the artist she had become. As Aria's career soared, she continued to thrive in the dynamic environment of New York. She was now a recognized name in the music industry, with fans from all around the world. She performed at iconic venues such as Madison Square Garden and Carnegie Hall, and her music was played on international radio stations. Aria's life in New York had evolved, but she remained true to her roots. She still frequented her favorite local spots, from the coffee shop in Soho where she had worked as a waitress to the tiny music venues in the East Village where she had performed her first gigs. She loved the diversity of the city, from the colorful murals in Bushwick to the dazzling lights of Times Square. Despite her busy schedule, Aria made time to give back to her community. She volunteered at local schools, sharing her musical talents with young aspiring musicians. She also supported local charities that focused on providing music education and opportunities for underprivileged youth in the city. Aria's success in New York also brought her face to face with the challenges of fame. She had to navigate paparazzi, deal with the pressure of public scrutiny, and manage her hectic schedule. But she had a strong support system that included her close-knit group of friends from New York, who helped keep her grounded. Through all the ups and downs, Aria remained grateful for the opportunities that New York had provided her. The city had been her muse, 
her inspiration, and her home. She continued to draw on the energy and diversity of New York in her music, and her songs resonated with audiences around the world. Years passed, and Aria's music career continued to flourish. She won prestigious awards, toured internationally, and collaborated with renowned musicians. However, she never forgot her humble beginnings in New York, and she always credited the city for shaping her into the artist she had become. As time went on, Aria's music evolved, and she explored new genres and styles. She experimented with different sounds and pushed the boundaries of her creativity. Despite her global success, she remained rooted in New York, and she still called the city her home. In time, Aria decided to give back to the city that had given her so much. She established a music foundation that provided scholarships and mentorship programs for aspiring musicians in New York. She also opened her own music studio in Brooklyn, where she nurtured and mentored young talents. Aria's story continued to inspire others, and she remained a beloved figure in New York City. She had come a long way from her humble beginnings, but she remained true to herself and her love for music. She continued to make a positive impact in her community and the world through her music and philanthropic efforts. And so, Aria's journey as a musician and her love affair with New York City continued, as she remained a testament to the city's spirit of resilience, diversity, and creativity. Her story served as a reminder that dreams do come true, and that New York, with all its challenges and opportunities, was a place where one's aspirations could take Thank flight. Thank you for watching the video. I ask that you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.